We've got a bunch of these, and we want to take these and make something cool out of them. Well today, I'm going to show you how to make some really awesome custom coasters out of these recycled skate decks. And if you don't know how to get these down to this step, go ahead and watch my prior video which I'll link up at the top here. I mean really, nothing else needs to be said, let's get to woodworking. So here's the fun part. Because I don't have a joiner, I have to use a joiner jig. Side note, if any of you woodworking companies out there want to sponsor me a joiner, that'd be awesome. Love to shout you out in a video. Don't feel any pressure though. It works pretty well for what I'm doing. But you want to make sure that your board edges are cleaned up before you go cutting them to make them square or gluing anything up. Please send me a joiner. Now the next thing I want to do while the veneers are gluing up is cut my cherry down to an inch and cut my maple down to a quarter inch. Now I'm going to cut them a little bit long because I'm going to plane down each side because I don't have a joiner. Once again, anybody's willing to give me a joiner, please do. And once I have those cut down, as I mentioned, I'm going to run them through the planer on every side to make sure that they glue up nice and even and then we'll be able to glue the veneers. Usually that works. So what I'm doing now is taking the sides that are going to be glued together and planing them to make sure that they're completely flat and there's no gaps in the glue up.
So I know what you're probably thinking. This does not look like a coaster. Well, that's because it's not yet, but I assure you it will be. What we need to do now is take this glued up board and plane it down on both sides, making sure that you run it through on the flat side and take a chisel to this extra glue before doing so. I didn't want to bore you guys with another planing montage. So now we have our base and we have our coasters that aren't cut to size yet. So what we want to do is we want to take this and we want to cut these each to three and a half inches. So we're going to mark that out right now. If you guys don't have a router or a router table, I definitely recommend getting a food router and router table. Their bits are unbelievable. They stay sharp forever. This router is absolutely amazing. I just can't recommend it enough. So if you need one of those, check that out. <laughs> Once you got all the burn marks out, go ahead and hit this with like a 150 or a 120 sandpaper. Just go over everything, and then we're gonna go over it later with a uh, 220 sponge. So set the coasters aside. Those are pretty much all done except for a final coat of uh, polyurethane. We wanna mess with this now. Now we're gonna make this into our stand. And we want the coasters to kind of sit at a bit of an angle, but we don't want them to sit too, like, angled. Or they're just going to fall over. I can't talk. I find the best method for this is just the guess and check. So I'm going to cut a dado with my table saw and then just check and see where this fits. And once I figure out the right angle or the right depth of the dado, then I'll just copy that over. And I'll show you how to do that right now.
there's really nothing else to do now but enjoy the fruits of your labor. Cheers everybody, thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We'll see you on the next one.